Hey, this is Presh Tallwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. This problem comes from a math competition in Croatia for 14-year-olds. Start with a triangle. From one vertex, draw a line segment to the opposite side. Do the same thing from another vertex. The triangle is now divided into four different regions. The areas of the triangles, starting from the left, are 3, 4, and 2. The question is, what is the area of this quadrilateral? I thank Matei for suggesting this problem. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. The main principle in solving this problem is the formula for the area of a triangle, which is one half its base times its height. If you have a right triangle where this is the base and this is the height, its area will be one half its base times its height. But the formula also holds as long as a triangle has a fixed base and its height is the same. So all of these triangles will have the same area as the original right triangle. So how does this help us solve the problem? Well, first we're going to need to do one trick. We'll divide the quadrilateral right down the middle and divide its two areas as x and y. We want to solve for x plus y. So how can we do that? Well, we'll use the formula for the area of a triangle and consider some ratios of areas of triangles. For example, consider this blue triangle and this blue triangle. Both of the triangles have the same height as each other, so the ratio of their areas will be the ratio of the lengths of their bases. Let's call their bases B1 and B2. So the area of the top triangle will be x plus y plus 2, the area of the bottom triangle will be 3 plus 4, and the ratio of these areas will be equal to B1 over B2, and this is because both of these triangles have the same height. This simplifies to be x plus y plus 2 all over 7 is equal to b1 plus b2. So now let's look at some other ratios of areas of triangles. Here are two green triangles. Both of these triangles have the same height as each other, so again, the ratio of their areas will be the ratio of the lengths of their bases. Now these two triangles have the same bases of b1 and b2 as the previous blue triangles. So we have x over 3 is equal to b1 over b2. So now we have two equations that are both equal to b1 over b2. Therefore, we can set these two equations equal to each other. Now let's consider some different triangles. Let's consider these two triangles. These triangles have bases b3 and b4, and just like we derived, we can come up with some similar formulas based on the areas of these triangles. The ratios of these areas will be equal to b3 over b4. So we have y plus x plus 3, the area of the top triangle, all over 2 plus 4, which is 6. This ratio will be equal to b3 over b4. Now similarly, if we take a look at these two triangles, the ratio of their areas will also be equal to b3 over b4. So we have y over 2 is also equal to b3 over b4. So we can now get rid of all these values of b1, b2, b3, and b4, because all we really care about is the values of x and y. So we'll first cross multiply these fractions. We'll cross multiply the fractions on the top, then we'll cross multiply the fractions on the bottom. We now have a system of two equations in two variables x and y and we'll be able to solve for unique values of x and y. So let me go through the steps very quickly. First, we'll group like terms. Next, we'll multiply the second equation by 2. Now in order to solve this system, one thing we can do is we can add these two equations. We'll get that negative 5y plus 18 is equal to 0. We've eliminated the x variable by adding these two equations. Thus, we have y is equal to 18 over 5. We can now use that value and substitute it into the second equation and then solve that x is equal to 21 over 5. So we have values for x and y 
And remember, we want to solve for x plus y. So the area of this quadrilateral is equal to x plus y, which is 39 over 5, or 7.8. And that's our answer. It took a little bit of imagination to figure out the magic line, but then we use good old-fashioned geometry and algebra to solve it. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free on YouTube, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all the Mind Your Decisions videos, and email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.